Hello, this is the Veneer Surgery Podcast. If you are a Veneer Healthcare team member and you like surgery, this is the podcast to follow. Please subscribe and enjoy the show. Okay, and he is back. Yes, this is the Veneer Surgery Podcast with Dr. Yola Kerpenstein. And this is number two. And I'm so excited because this is the first a full episode and I have some amazing surprises for you Uh, for instance I'm going to call someone out of the blue and I'm going to ask her uh, some questions which was amazing and uh, thank you sir for uh, being my guinea pig here I'm going to talk about a couple of topics that I think are really important in surgery right now I'm going to do a google search uh, on a keyword or two keywords um, and uh, I'll talk a little bit about my blog and my uh, challenge for this year. As a matter of fact, I have multiple challenges, but uh, this is one that I'm very excited about. So uh, let's start the show and keep on moving. And first, I have to click on. Uh, so the the first thing I really want to talk about is. Uh, the uh, VSSO conference and uh, why do I want to talk about it one because I'm part of the organizing team with the amazing Dr. Sarah Boston the amazing Dr. Bill Culp and the amazing Greg Clifford uh, Dr. Greg Greg Clifford um, because uh, it's just an amazing program so we are doing it May 4th to May 6th 2020 in beautiful Niagara on the lake, I never can pronounce it, in Canada, at the Queensland Great Hotel. Uh, And we're selling the hotel out. So the hotel is ours. We have 150 spaces. And I'm so excited because we are, we still have like half a year and we are at two thirds capacity. So there's only a few little places left. So if you're interested, just sign on, go to the website vsso.org and uh, sign on for this 22 CE credit, uh, three-day informative um, congress with all your friends from Veneer Oncology. You can't get better than this. Um, the fifth meeting, because it is a celebration meeting, is all about vision. And we have six, six topics. And I'm just going to give a very brief glimpse on the uh, the topics that we have. We have some amazing, amazing MDs that are going to talk to us. Uh, Brian Kamazine, I probably mispronounced his name, uh, does a lot of work on s- just the craziest surgeries that he does in Africa with people that have these huge tumors uh, that he he still treats everybody gives up gives up on them except for him and uh, amazing uh, we have uh, a couple of TED talks Julius Liptak uh, Nicole Earhart Will Ewart and Lynn Griffin will do some uh, TED talks for us on the first day um, we're going to talk about uh, cannabis in oncology so that is really cool I think um, we have Sheila Robertson, who is the guru of anesthesia, veneer anesthesia, talking to us. We have crazy abstracts. Uh, I'm very proud that one of the people that I work with, uh, Stan, Dr. Stan Feitzman, is doing a uh, abstract about feline insulinoma. 20 insulinomas. Took us years to get so many, uh, but that's very exciting. Um, we have Jared Gar- Gardner, who is an MD. He is known as the social media guru of human pathology. So that's going to be awesome. I'm so happy that Jared suggested that. I couldn't believe that he did that. So, And then we have Barb Powers, our amazing pathologist that will give a lecture too. Um, we have Peter Ferguson, uh, an MD, talking about human ed- osteosarcoma and our own Bernard Sagan is uh, talking about limb sparing in dogs can't get better than that uh, we have abstracts we have round tables we have Dr. Michael Perry coming who's also an MD we have Dr. Jason Cole talking about complications and how you have to communicate about them and then uh, we have Noel Fitzpatrick you know the crazy guy, the super vet from London that does the most amazing things with animals. And I'm so happy that Noel's coming. It will be 
awesome. And at the end, uh, we have Dr. Josh Schiffman, who will blow your brains out with his talk. So this is, I, I think, the best, best uh, lineup of speaker for any conference. So just sign up. Do it now before it's gone. I can't say it enough, but uh, it's going to be super cool. So that is VSSO May 4th to 6th in beautiful Canada. Yes, let's go north. Let's go north. So I promised that one thing that I would do uh, during this podcast is uh, do some silly things. And the one thing that I did is uh, I'm Googling words that have to do with surgery. So I thought a good thing to start with is to start Googling veneer surgery. And what do you think came up as number one from 98,600,000 results in 1.14 seconds? It's the Journal of Veneer Surgery. And why am I so excited about that? Because if you click on the Journal of Veneer Surgery, then you see that there is a new veneer special issue from January that is talking about the current state of surgical oncology. And what better to talk about? You probably have already received this if you are a member of that surgery. But uh, the table of contents is super interesting. There is a lot of things going on. They're talking about near-infrared imaging. They're talking about soft tissue um complications in oncologic surgical clinical research studies in dogs and cats and this is a systemic systemic review and i am a big fan of those and one thing that i'm going to do during this podcast is that i'm going to call people that did articles to talk to them about it for like five ten minutes just to get short information bursts in this podcast and i'm really excited about that okay um one article talks about removal of hemangiosarcoma cells from canine blood with a cell salvage system and a leukocyte reduction filter so that is super interesting we're talking about hypothermia and osteosarcoma in a murine model three-dimensional printing uh just doesn't get better than this uh, i think this is a super interesting uh, special edition um and um so um, look at this, primary appendicular hemangiosarcoma and teleangiotetic osteosarcoma in 70 dogs. And that is a Veneer Society of Surgical Oncology retrospective study. Um, so we'll probably get someone on the phone to talk about that uh, with us. Um, and then we have some endothermal and the prosthesis journals. There's an article that talks about total prostatectomy in 25 dogs and let's see it keeps on goes on and on and on so many good articles there so i'm really excited so sometimes it's good to google and i bet that uh, let me check if these are uh, available because sometimes that's a little bit of a problem uh, with these journals that obviously you have to pay for it let's see if i can read the full text here no so you need to pay for that so if you're not a member of uh, veneer surgery, obviously you cannot reach him, which is too bad. I always said veneer surgery should be an open access journal, but you know, that's my windmill, I guess, that I fight every day. And uh, so that's good. So that was my Google search. So now uh, I'm going to do the most exciting part of this podcast, and that's I'm going to call someone out of the blue. So I decided to call Sarah Boston. And at night, I have this new app on my phone where I can link directly. Uh, to a person that I call so I'm calling the person then I can link it and I can tape that call uh, which by the way is illegal um, if you don't tell the person that you're doing that so I did tell Sarah and I have two it's the first time that I did that so there was a little glitch halfway I've lost Sarah and uh, and so I'm, I'm planning to do this during this podcast I'm really excited about it to be able to to give these people an unexpected visit and uh, it's going to be cool uh, to talk to Sarah a little bit. Very short. I think one clip is two minutes and the other clip is about four minutes. And Sarah is super funny. Sarah is a surgical oncologist in Toronto, Canada, uh, working for one of the practices there. She is amazing. She's a comedian or stand-up comedian. She is a prolific writer. Uh, she does these amazing blogs and she wrote a book. Um, and uh, and I love that book too. Um, and so Sarah is a, is a great person, a great friend. So very excited to uh, to talk to her. So here's Sarah. 
Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, now we're on. So, so this is really cool. So this is an app, what you call a person. Uh, you yeah. can merge the call, and now it's taking it automatically. So now we're on the call okay. together. And then okay. I can download it. But I have to warn you for this call what is you- taped, because otherwise in uh, the U.S. Uh, you're liable, oh. and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So you need to know yeah. that this is happening. But, uh, but oh, well. So, okay. Um, so, yeah, what we're talking about is anything that goes with surgery. Uh, and I, I, you know, just like the per podcast, we don't have a uh, – a planned, you know, questionnaire. I'm going to ask you some yeah. questions, though. So, for instance, I'm going okay. to ask you, what's your favorite surgery? My favorite surgery? Hmm. Yeah. It kind of varies. I really like removing antibrachial soft tissue sarcomas and repairing that with a skin graft. I find that and very why? satisfying. Um, um, because you can save their leg and... Um, I like to, I just really like doing skin grafts and the fascia underneath the antibrachium is like, or on the, over the antibrachium, it's the best fascia in the body. So it's, I know it's just a feel like you're, I, I, I oh, it's wonderful. It because, I know it is this, this, this strong layer that you can just it's, peel off and it's so satisfying when you do it. Yeah. It's just a good barrier for those nasty sarcoma cells. And I just feel like. Yeah. We can have a good outcome. Um, so, yeah, I think it just technically I enjoy it, but also I enjoy the fact that you're probably curing that dog's cancer. So many things about what? it that I love. But you're curing you that do. dog's cancer. Oh, you're, you're curing you're your curing the, Yeah, yeah, no, no, I understand. I thought that yeah. <laughs> I was turning the dog's center, and I'm like, what? How do you mean you turn the dog's center, but you're curing his cancer? No, that's true. That's true. But, I mean, and skin flaps, which skin flaps do you use on the empty bacon then? Oh, I lost you. See, that's not good. Now I lost you. Are you can you hear me? Are you, get, are, are, you, are you back? I'm here. Yeah, okay, I'm back. So that's, this is really cool. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to make just a podcast about this, and I'm trying to reach you. You're running. Okay, what are you doing now, Sarah? I am, I am walking through, a, like, literally a snowstorm in oh, Toronto. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, even though I say that I love I love everything about Canada, so I'm not going to complain, but I am actually walking through a snowstorm and right now. And this is so funny because you just tried to admit me that I have to go to Canada. You're in a freaking snowstorm. I walk outside. Yeah. It's 70 but degrees you know what? here. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, I don't want to hear me. about it because <laughs> <laughs> we have some really good things in Canada. Yes, so, you do. Yeah. Yes, you do. We have some yeah. really bad things here in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> so no one's allowed. No one's allowed to talk to me about the weather because it's just weather. <laughs> yeah, but the bad thing, the weather is kind of a central theme for at least eight months of the year. But that's okay. So we were talking about antibrachial tumors. That's your favorite surgery. And then I was asking you, what skin flap do you prefer? And then you were cut off. So you asked me what, what, what I prefer? What flap do you prefer? Oh, like the axial pattern flap? Uh, that's the one for the antibrachial? Oh, no. Well, I just use a free graft. Oh, free for the graft. Okay. Yeah, free okay. mesh graft. Yeah, yeah. Oh, generally, awesome. yeah. Unless it's higher up, then I would use the thoracodorsal. But you no, know, I like the free graft. And though you know, if it's antibrachial, usually you can't get an actual pattern plot to go down that far. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. No. So this is exactly what it's going to be about. So it's conversational talking about surgery. Nothing major. Uh, and then we move around, you know. Uh, I'll ask you where you are. You're in a snowstorm in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is just yeah. going. And, you know, this is going to be the first one. This is awesome. So I'll just I'll put this together and then see how it works. That's it. So you, Pretty short. You, yeah. it's short. We'll have to do another one. But. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. But it's 20 minutes. So uh, the, so the whole pot is 20 minutes, and uh, okay. I don't want to bore people with too long, uh, you know, yeah. blah, 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 but, uh, yeah, so things are good. Oh, good. Well, good. Yeah, That's so fun. we'll talk uh, soon. 
Love you. Okay. And, uh, Thanks for the advice, and as always. Care. And don't okay. slip on the ice. The what? Don't slip on the oh. ice. <laughs> I have good boots. I'm good. You should see I have this big jacket on and big boots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Canada yep. goose jacket. Yep. I can see. No, no, already. not the Canada goose. No, no, no oh, Canada what? goose. Oh, What's it's controversial. Well, Why? the the big thing is the coyote fur. Yeah. No, don't get that jacket. The coyote fur around the trim. Oh, that's not allowed. Yeah. It's that. That's a, no, we don't want we don't want real fur. No, we don't want real fur. Even though their their website says that it's the only substance that can uh, prevent frostbite on your face because it disrupts the turbulent or it makes the airflow around your face more turbulent. It's the only the only material that can do that. But I suspect there's uh, other ones if we if we put our heads yeah. together. <laughs> Like we paper, could find something. Maybe. <laughs> maybe that. Maybe a scarf. I don't know. Yeah. Probably other things. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, no. All right. Can I use this to in my focus? This is too funny. Yeah. True. yeah. You can. Always. Okay. Anything. Anything okay, for you. Sweetie. I love, <laughs> love you. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God. This was the best interview ever. Who can come up with these things? You know, winter in Canada. I'm sitting here. As a matter of fact, we should go outside because it's like 7 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 20 plus degrees centigrade. It's so beautiful outside. And Sarah is in a snowstorm. Can you believe that? So we're talking a little bit about uh, entry brachial tumors. Just to summarize, Sarah loves those because of the fascia. There's a really strong fascia, antibrachial fascia that you can use to get your deep margin and deep margins are always a problem in tumor surgery as you know and uh, so this is cool and she likes them and then uh, she gets a big hole and we tend not to close those primarily because there's too much tension and so you have to find an alternative and there's lots of good alternatives uh, to close lesions there uh, but the one that she mentioned mesh graft is one of my favorites so you just take a piece of skin somewhere else uh, f- clean them up really really well and then uh, put them on the side and you have to leave them for a little bit a couple of days without touching them uh, you can use the vac for instance the uh, vacuum assisted um, of the negative pressure technique um, to uh, make them stick uh, or you can put a bandage on it and don't look at them for a couple of days and, uh, in cats they take about 90 percent of the time in dogs it's a little less about 75 percent but still a really good really good technique i really am excited about that so very good so uh i am almost at the end of the time that i have which is crazy it's going so fast but obviously i enjoy what i'm doing so what i wanted to talk about at the end is uh, my crazy ideas for 2020 and i have a couple of them And I cannot talk about all of them because some are a little proprietary. But I can talk to you about my plan to uh, publish The Cutting Edge online. And what's The Cutting Edge? It is a book that a lot of people wrote with me when I was a professor in surgery in Utrecht. And it's basic surgery skills. There's about 19 chapters. Uh, It is... uh, species independent so you know it talks about horses and cows and dogs and cats and really focuses on basic surgery skills and because that book is for me so important uh, and people put so much work in it and we used it at Utrecht to uh, you teach students and the students are still using it I decided to uh, the, to put out a new a new version new edition with a lot of work and then I had some problems with publishing it uh, because my publisher decided to stop with it and then I tried some other publishers and it didn't work and then I you know last year suddenly i had this bright moment to say why don't i publish it myself so i found this editor or this uh, page makeup artist that is going to uh, redo all the uh, you know the page settings um, and i'm going to pay some money for that and then i'm going to publish it on my website and my website is called um, the global veterinary surgery dot net website so if you type in uh, www.globalveneersurgery.net you should uh, get to my blog and that's where this will be published as a matter of fact the book will be published as a pdf so various chapters 
that you can just download and it's all free. So it's free sharing, it's online and you can share great pictures in there, great techniques. I'm going to put videos in there and I'm also going to do blogs. So I am going to through the chapters right now and I'm going to write short pieces of blogs on them. I probably will use the podcast uh, to talk about this uh, this too. So super excited by it. I just did the oncology chapter on that um, basic oncology talking about biopsies and that sort of things. And um, so it's going to be cool. This is going to be a, you know, wow, so much work. If you think about it, I should not think about that too much because then I won't do it. But no, I'm going to do it. 2020, I'm going to do it. It's really important. So next to that, I'm obviously publishing another book. (sighs) Why do I do this? And that's about uh, reconstruction because I love it so much. So this is going to be cool together with Bright and Stanley Gertehaar. We'll have uh, the second version. So um, that's going to be awesome. So that's about it. Um, If you want to follow me on the blog, like I said, it is globalveneersurgery.net. I have a very active Facebook page at globalveneersurgery or G-V-E-T-S-X. I have an Instagram page. Um, My professional Instagram page is at uh, Dr. Yola. Uh, and uh, you also have Global Vendor Surgery, obviously, yeah, as an Instagram page. If you have cool cases, please send them in. If you have any questions, send me a message. I most of the time respond the fastest through social media. And uh, I hope you liked my first interview and uh, this uh, first long podcast or full-length podcast. My podcast won't be longer than about 20 minutes because that is as exactly the time that I drive from my home to my work so uh, that's how much time I have to listen to podcasts and if a podcast is longer I normally don't listen to it so have fun uh, keep on cutting and we'll talk to you next time bye bye